There's a new feature in Photoshop 2021 that's quite an unusual issue. It's tucked away in the help documentation. You might not even know it exists. And that's view actual size. View, obviously there's other ones, 100%, 200%. There's an actual size. Now, what does that do? Well, it does it to the size on the screen. So now I've just created a shape and I can quickly show you my, I'll um, just go over here, the shape. You can use anything, of course, but I can just gonna go over here with the shape and it's easier with the shape because I can set it to three inches or three inches, etc., or two inches. Just go over here and fix size, three inch, three inch. And I can just create it again. So I just quickly create it. And that's three inches by three inches. As far as it's concerned, that is three inches by three inches. Now, of course, if I go over here, I zoom in, doesn't look like three inches by three inches anymore. Well, if I want it to be displayed as three inches, actual size, what I can do, go to view, actual size. Now, because I'm not convinced by that it's actual size and I don't know what three inches particularly looks like, I can actually just get my tape measure out and tape measure, and I've got obviously inches on this side, so uh, I can quickly show it. And I can put it against the screen as near enough without smudging the screen. 19 inches and to 22. So, yep, 19 to 22, three inches across. So that's it. It's definitely done it exactly right. So exactly on the screen, you've got it three inches on my monitor. So uh, that's the feature for actual size. And of course, if I created the shape, I could go up there and create shape there. So I maybe go for, change that to one inch or two inches, etc., and create it. Again, it will be exactly on the size on the screen. Now, practical uses for this, I don't think I'll be using it, that feature that often, but I'm certain that there are many practical uses for that feature. And obviously, people have obviously asked Photoshop, Adobe, to add that, so uh, which is great. And that's what you can do. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. I know it's a quite a short uh, tutorial, but um, that's the feature. Always adding new tutorials about Photoshop, Illustrator, Affinity Photo, etc. So please subscribe to the channel. Also, please add some comments. Maybe put some comments about how you think you may want to use this feature. It'd be really great to see what people are going to do with this. And also uh, a dislike or like. Thank you much.